the online video lecture series on electromagnetic waves. In this session, I am going to discuss current and current density. And you should know, from the general article, you know current is nothing but I and current density is nothing but J. In simple, current is rate of flow of charge. Uh, rate of flow of charge with respect to cross-sectional area is nothing but current density. Since the area, which area is important? So this fellow is nothing but vector, but current is a scalar. Okay. Now you can take down the definition for the current. Take down. Current is defined as rate of change of flow of charge. Charge is there. Rate of change dq by dt. Okay, is nothing but current. Current is nothing but rate of change of flow of charge. It is a scalar. Its unit is ampere. Due credit goes to Mr. Ampere. So I is equal to dq by dt. Okay, please make a note of it. The title: current density J. It's a vector R. What is the current density? If I say assume there is a wire, so you should go deep inside. The wire will have some thickness. And in this wire, some current is flowing. There is a cross-sectional area, let us say delta S. Through that area, how much current is flowing? Nothing but current per area. Please recall. Current per area. Right? It is defined as current per unit cross-sectional area. It is defined as current per unit cross-sectional area. It is a vector. It is a vector. Keep it pending. What is the definition I told? J is defined as current per unit cross sectional small area. So it is delta S. Obviously in delta S there is delta amount of current will be there. In a cross sectional area, which area? So it is nothing but vector. So ampere per meter square. What are the unit? It is ampere per meter square. It is a vector. Its unit is ampere per meter square. Just to make it down. J is nothing but delta I by delta S. Just to draw one small diagram. Okay, that gives you further knowledge. And if you cross multiply, delta I is nothing but J delta S. And you know it is a vector. And it is a vector which area, side area, surface area, cross sectional area. Current is a scalar, so it should be dot product. You can also rewrite as D I is equal to J dot D S. Therefore, I is equal to integral J dot ds. Okay, this is the major conclusion we have had. Okay, please try to remember that. I have defined current, I have defined current density. Okay. So the last topic in this model is current continuity equation or continuity of current. And you should know from the general story, energy neither be created nor be destroyed. Charge is also energy. You can't create a charge or you can't destroy the charge. It was created in uh, big bang nuclear synthesis theory so we can't bring that so please make a note from principle of conservation of charge charge neither be created nor be destroyed then outward flow of positive charge must be balanced by decrease in positive charge repeating outward flow of positive charge must be balanced by decrease in positive charge that is total flow is equal to total is the case here current entering is equal to current leaving that's all within a closed surface within a closed surface so if you have a closed surface net to inward flow is equal to net to outward flow that's what we have and from these two definitions, we know it is I is equal to integral J dot ds. And since I told it is a closed surface, because it should be in a compacted surface, closed surface, because other external area should not include it there. And you also know I is equal to dq, the same rate of change of current, dq by dt. By equating these two equations, I can say closed the integral j dot ds equal to dq by dt. That is 
outward flow is equal to decrease compensation decrease so which means very simple let us have a small vessel and let me pour some water inside there is one liter of water now put a hole what happened to water water comes out after five minutes the water one liter remains same no it will reduce you know so outward flow of water can be compensated by reduction in the water reduction is nothing but reducing so i would like to mention Always I say minus here doesn't mean that minus value. Opposite here this reduction. Okay, so try try to remember this. And what is our divergence theorem says? Please recall what is divergence theorem says? Closed integral d dot d s is equal to volume integral del dot d d v. Okay, so this is surface, this is volume. And you should also know it is not only for d. It is for any vector field. Please try to remember. Now, can I rewrite instead of D J? Yes, allow. So, L H is equal to R H. Remove this and replace. So, if I say this is equation one, equation one can be written as remove this, substitute this. What happened? Del dot J D V equal to right hand side minus. I can say. Minus d q by d t. Left hand side is volume integration. Right hand side there is no integration. So in order to equate, I can also bring volume integration. Q equal to integral rho v d v. You should know. So integration del dot j d v equal to minus d by d t instead of q integration rho v d v. Okay. So since the rho v is with respect to volume. Volume only. If you bring with respect to time inside, you won't disturb the volume, so it should become partial. Consider only the time. So integration del dot j dv equal to minus integration do rho v by do t dv because your differentiation should not affect the volume integration. That is three dimensional integration, so it will become partial. So both the side dv, both the side integration on comparing. Del dot j equal to minus do rho v by do t. Okay, so please do remember this is current continuity equation. Okay, one of the important equation we may need this particular in many places. What is this equation says? Charge neither be created nor be destroyed. Total inward flow of current is nothing but total exit flow of the current. That's what. Take note of that. We'll do some problems on currents and current densities. Right on. In a cylindrical conductor of radius two millimeter, so it's nothing but thickness of that particular wire. Okay, repeating. In a cylindrical conductor of radius two millimeter, the current density is defined as J equal to ten Q e power minus four hundred R. A Z cap ampere per meter square. Find total current I. Okay. Question is find I. A simple work. What is I formula? Integration J dot d s. Okay. Now let us recall what is I formula? Integration. Remember, my dear, it is d s. Elemental area. Obviously, it is double integration. Careful. 10 Q e power minus 400 R A Z cap dot. Very important point. This D S. What is the D S? You should recall that particular table in the beginning of my subject. I made it. Okay. Can you recall? Turn back and check that table. I need D S. Ds is nothing but elemental area. In that I am in a cylindrical coordinate because remember R is there, Z is there. Okay, cylindrical dimension, cylindrical coordinate Ds. And do remember there are three Ds is there. Okay, can you please recall uh, rho phi Z and the first one was d rho d phi a Z cap. Another one was d phi D Z A rho cap. Another one was D rho D Z A phi cap. And uh, these techniques we had some more issues are there. I will explain. Uh, 
one one z is the other two term rho phi z rho phi z rho phi z apart from that since it is ds it should be area okay meter 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 square area since there is nothing is there rho here also there is one term is missing rho okay that knowledge you should have right now which area you should take out of these three which was available in your table try to recap which area you should take if already here yes obviously this should be there you know rho d rho d phi a z cap reason sir then only a z that a z will be one otherwise if you take this or if you take this it will be zero now a small trouble in the problem they have given in r sir you have written in rho that knowledge you should have okay that analysis you should have so i would with your permission i can make this as rho nothing wrong about that okay next az dot az will be 1 then remaining will be i 10 cube outside double integration e power minus 400 rho rho d rho d phi okay az dot az will be 1 so one integration is for rho other integration is for phi if it is a cylinder phi is varying from 0 to 2 pi rho is a radius 2 mm is the radius they told so 0 to 2 mm 0 0.002 meters okay that's the correct method okay now i will just split this into two 10 power 3 integration d phi integration rho e power minus 400 rho don't confuse with rho and e d rho 0 to 0 0.002 0 to 2 pi no confusion this you have to do integration by parts but my suggestion beautifully use your calculator and I should get the answer directly 7.51 milliamps you will be getting okay just careful in doing this particular problem make a note of that we'll do another problem given that current density okay just make down given that current density j equal to 10 rho square z a rho cap minus 4 rho cos squared phi a phi cap milli ampere per meter square determine the total current determine the total current which means they are asking i determine the total current flowing outward through the cylinder with rho is equal to 3 0 less than or equal to 5 less than or equal to 2 pi 2 less than or equal to z less than or equal to 2.8 okay. they have given that particular range so this is the analysis the question is find the current nothing more than that now what is the general format you should recall i is equal to integration j dot ds okay that is the analysis i is equal to double integration 10 rho square z a rho cap minus 4 cos squared phi a phi cap dot can you say what should be that particular limit phi is varying from 0 to 2 pi z is varying from 2 to 2.8 then obviously you should guess what is that particular range 0 to 2 pi d phi 2 to 2.8 dz so what should be the analysis it should be d phi dz it's a talent no other idea it should be d phi dz they have given the limit and obviously it should be a rho cap okay and to satisfy the meter it should be the knowledge you should have so if you take this particular analysis if you do dot product definitely the first one exists the second one will be zero double integration 10 rho square z rho d phi dz and what about this term will be zero okay so it's the analysis and one is for phi other is for z so 10 rho cube outside rho square into rho, rho cube outside integration d phi integration z dz 
and z is varying from 2 to 2.8 phi is varying from 0 to 2 okay just substitute the limits integrate and get the answer the answer will be 3.26 and here okay please do remember directly you can use calculator to do this particular calculation but don't forget there is one term called milli am i right if there is a called milli so definitely extra there will be into 10 power minus 3 is there so even that also i have included and i got the final answer 3.26 okay so you might have got 3000 something into milli means automatically it will get satisfied with this i would like to conclude this particular session thank you